Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a Twitter header in Pixlr. So again, if you guys are new here, you're not gonna need Photoshop. You're not gonna to need to pay for any software. And as you guys can see on my desk screen right here, I have the uh, template for you guys as well. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section have been asking me to show you guys how I make and how I find like the stock images or my backgrounds. Now I have a video in the works showing you guys how I find them, how I make them and everything like that behind the scenes. So make sure you guys have the notification bell on. Make sure you guys also subscribe to the channel so you guys do know when that video and the rest of my videos do go up. As well as that, if you guys don't already know, I have a Discord server. There will be a link in the description if you guys do want to join. Over there, I do have lots of channels for graphics help, for free graphics, and I also have channels for like renders and everything like that if you guys are looking for some extra graphics for like whatever you guys need. And then before we get too far into the video, I also do want to show you guys everything that I'm going to give you guys in the Google Drive. There will be a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and download everything. As I say before, in every tutorial, I recommend you guys go through and just download everything you need right away, drag it to your desktop so it's easily accessible. This is the render that I did use in today's Twitter header. Now you guys can use whatever one you want. I give you guys a couple extra purple ones. As you guys can see here, I also have the template that I'm going to give you guys. Now this has all of the kind of effects and all of the adjustments that I've already made to it. And then as you guys can see here, this is the final version but I mean you guys can't kind of see because the uh, webcam is kind of covering it and then I also have the font here that I will give you guys um, in the Google Drive as well and there will be a link in the description to the website where you guys can go ahead and just directly download the font and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial All right, guys, so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is head to Pixlr E. There will be a top link in the description if you guys do just want to click there. What we're going to do here is we're going to go to create new all the way on the left side and we're going to type in width 1500. We're going to go to height 500, just the standard sizing for a Twitter header. We're going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to put Twitter header purple, for example. And we're just going to click create new. Now, the very first thing that you guys want to do is go to layer, add image as layer and just double click on that template that I gave you guys in the Google Drive link in the description. Here it is, so purple header template. We're gonna double click and as you guys can see here, it automatically fits it right into the background. So the very first thing we're gonna do is click on these three dots and we're gonna go to lock and then just make sure that we don't end up moving it anywhere. We don't wanna move it. First thing we're gonna do obviously is go ahead and toss in the render. I'm gonna go to layer, add image as layer. I'm just gonna find that render. I believe it's right here, yep. And then all I need to do is just size it down a bit and then make sure it kind of fits in there kind of how i had it in the thumbnail as you guys can see we already have it there now the next thing we're going to focus on is the text now again i do have a full tutorial discussing how to download fonts on pixlr i'll toss a little card up if you guys want to go watch that video and then come back to this one but once you guys have the font downloaded i will have a link in the description to go ahead and download it make sure to go to the text layer you're gonna click add text. Now you're gonna click the drop down arrow and just find that font that you just downloaded. Click dot zero, I'm gonna double click it and then I'm just gonna type in my name, which is ice. Then I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna find a nice purple color that I wanted to use. There we go. And I'm gonna go to size. And I'm gonna drag this up a bit just to make sure it fits kind of like how we see it in the thumbnail up a little bit more so now we have the top layer so now what i'm going to do is make sure i have the size how i want it i'm going to go to the three dots i'm going to click and duplicate and i'm going to take this one and i'm going to drag the duplicated layer underneath now what i'm going to do with that one is actually go to the text tool make sure i'm clicked on that make sure i'm clicked on the layer underneath and i'm going to go to styles and i'm going to go to outline and i'm going to go to punch out and i'm going to make sure that color is on white and I'm gonna definitely make sure to go to the size and drag it down a tad until I think it looks good. And then that's kind of how I get that background look on it. Now there's a couple more things I wanna do with that. First, I wanna make sure it's kind of looks how I want it to look. All right, so now I have like the text how I want it to look. I'm gonna go to the bottom layer and I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna go to rasterize. And then I'm gonna go to the top one. I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna rasterize that one as well. So they're both not text images anymore. There's gonna be regular images. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on the eraser tool and I'm gonna go to the layer underneath that white one. And I'm just gonna erase a little bit of this stuff on the right just to give it a little bit more of like a 3D look. I'm gonna erase that a little bit and I'm also gonna erase that as well. And then all I'm gonna do left is I'm gonna go to the top text layer. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm gonna click a merge down. And as you guys can see, that literally gives me one good text layer so I can kind of move it around and adjust it 
how I want make it a little bit bigger now if we go ahead and look on the final version you guys can see I have the text here so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that so again go to the text layer I'm just gonna click on here I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna go to size and I'm gonna make this a tad smaller and I'm just gonna type in slash ice kicks which is my YouTube handle go to white and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna adjust the size a little bit and I'm also going to go to layer, rasterize that, and make that a image layer as well. So I can go ahead and rotate this and size it down a little bit. So we can put it right about here. Now let's go ahead and get the YouTube icon that you guys see. And I will leave a Twitter one, a Twitch one, and a TikTok one as well if you guys want to use a different one than I did. But I'm going to go to layer, go to add image as layer. We're going to find that YouTube one. Here it is. Now I'm going to rotate that a little bit size it down a little bit and I'm thinking that looks pretty good right there I'm going to enter now I'm going to take that top one I'm going to click merge down and now we have both of them so I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to drop shadow I'm going to go to color I'm just going to add a purple one from the image and I want the x offset to be a little less I think that's looking pretty good we adjust the opacity as well Look like apply and as you guys can see that pretty much finishes it up now all we have to do here is go to file save and then we can go to just name it whatever you want i'm going to drag the quality all the way up that's very key and then make sure again that the width is 1500 and that the height is 500 and then we're gonna go ahead and hit download and i usually just click this little dot here show in folder and go like this and drag it right to the desktop and then you guys can apply it to your twitter profile or your twitch because it should fit both if you guys like this video and you guys found this video helpful at all i would greatly appreciate it if you guys could like this video and also subscribe to the channel i appreciate you guys again for watching i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel peace